The White House encouraged Major League Baseball owners and players to come to an agreement and get the season back on track. Now, the first two of the regular season series have already been canceled. The Rockies home opener, that's April 8th, could be the first actual game of the year. Now, among the major sticking points in negotiations, a demand from the Players Association that younger players be paid more. We ask Boulder native and current Holy Cross sports economist Victor Matheson to put those wishes in perspective. Remember, the typical, uh, the typical major league player doesn't even play a full five years, right? Uh, most of them don't get to free agency. Uh, and so what you do is you have uh, players who really have a, a, a tiny, tiny work-life expectancy. The owners, on the other hand, you can be an owner for 40 years, and even when you're, when you're done being an owner, uh, a good uh, a contract that really uh, sticks it to the players uh, allows you to sell your franchise for a lot more money in the future. And a little more context here. Matheson has written extensively about how the economic impact of the All-Star Game is often exaggerated. He says the same is true here, but with one big exception. He says Colorado as a whole will be fine without the Rockies. Lodo, however, will suffer. The bars and restaurants in that area uh, count on you know, that traffic flow of about 3 million people, uh, you know, drinking, eating uh, right before and after games. Of course, uh, in 2020, that, that uh, those 3 million people disappeared completely. Uh, last year, uh, due to capacity constraints uh, and capacity reductions, uh, that, that traffic flow was down about a third from normal. And now it looks like we're going to have the third uh, year in a row where those bars and restaurants in the area who count on that uh, foot traffic uh, are looking at maybe another disappointing year. And Matheson still believes the season will ultimately be played. When it will begin and how long it would last, he could not venture to guess.